Good morning and happy Sunday. It's the start of a whole new week. And as you can see, I'm in a parking garage. I'm actually at Disney Springs. I recently got my Disney annual pass, so I'm excited to be a pass holder once again. I took off last year just so that I can focus on saving money. And now I am ready to come back to being a pass holder. And what better way to celebrate being a pass holder than having a whole weekend at Disney. Now, I've never done the whole like New Year's Eve thing here at Disney and I know it gets crazy, very overcrowded, so I anticipate that. So far, so good right now. I'm gonna get some brunch. My office for the day. So brunch was really good and I got my leftovers to go. So minding my own business here at Disney which is full of people. And then I see a woman walking towards me and lo and behold, she was my former boss at the salon. <laughs> like such such a small world. I know that there's like a spot like right here and I need to clean my sensor, but I don't have my cleaning kit, so that that's gonna be there until I get home. Anyway, I'm gonna put you guys up here even though it's backlit and I'm, yep, I'm gonna darken. It's not time for me to check into my Airbnb just yet, so I am killing time by hanging out in my car. Let's roll up the windows here. It is way too noisy outside. So I'm killing time just hanging out on my phone. I did not want to walk around Disney Springs because as I was walking around, I ran into my former boss again. So like, I just don't get it. Like there's so many people here and yet I still end up running into people I don't want to see. What the heck life? Anyway, I am on Facebook. I'm cleaning up my friends list. There are many people that I don't keep in contact with anymore. And there are some people that are from the past and I need to move on. So like, I feel bad. I don't know about you guys, but I just, I feel a little bit guilty because I feel like they're gonna start questioning like, why does she unfriend me and all that stuff. For example, I am still friends with my ex's mother. And although we are okay, for me to move on, I need to let her stay in the past. So I felt so bad for unfriending her, but I, I need to for myself. Do you guys feel that way too when you unfriend people? Or are you the type that just leaves everyone on your friends list and you have like thousands of friends? I'm just the type that on Facebook, I don't need everyone to know about my business, although I am a vlogger and my life is out on YouTube on the internet but also I'm not interested in their business if it's been five years since I last talked to you goodbye made it to my air B&B which has everything that I need even a little space heater yes I need it because it's freezing in this place and there's no thermostat I'm gonna hang out here for a little bit before I head over to magic kingdom I'm so excited I'm home Guess what? I'm a pass holder again. Ashley's hey, here. We're and we're matching. We're matching. There's the disc fam. Hi. Hi. How are you? Oh my gosh, are you guys? We're having a picnic with a corn dog nugget, and this is our feast. Before we go into the park, let's get some lunch at the Yacht Club. Look at this Christmas village. Oh my goodness. This is amazing. Oh my god. 
He's plowing. Yummy grilled cheese and ham sandwich with tomato soup. Watch Alien Compass. Such a beautiful day out. I don't know if you guys can hear me because it's pretty windy, but I was gonna go right into the park after lunch, but the Christmas decorations are still up at the resort, so I wanna go check them out. This gingerbread boardwalk though. So freaking cute. I love how they've got little baked treats in there too. Oh my god, there's a little gingerbread house in the big gingerbread house. Guess what guys? I'm in Epcot! My favorite park! Stoked to be here. It is already looking quite crowded. Since I have about like 10 hours here, I'm just gonna go and chill and hang out. Take my time, take photos. I want to start back up my second Instagram account, which is my Disney account. I retired it last year, but I'm ready to resurrect it. The crowds here are insane. It is busy today. Sitting at the wind tunnel, which is right underneath Spaceship Earth, because for whatever reason, like underneath Spaceship Earth, it's so windy, but it's nice, especially on hot days, like in the summer. But I'm just like people watching and there's so many people coming through. A lot of people leaving as well, but look at the line for Spaceship Earth. It, oh, sorry, okay. <laughs> it goes all the way back there. Can't really see it, but it's a 135 minute wait, when it's usually 10 minutes wait. So this grassy section is usually always fenced off, but they have it open for the New Year's Eve celebration. I've never been on this grass before. So it is nighttime now and it is time to party. There are stages set up all over the place. Uh, <laughs> I don't know her. <laughs> It goes down Main Street, drops you off at Cinderella's Castle, and then moves around. The Omnibus doesn't come out all the time, so when it does, take the opportunity and just hop on and enjoy the ride. It's about 8 o'clock in the morning. It's really early. <laughs> with a view at Cinderella's wishing well and I never read this before but it says your wishes will help the dream of children come true so I'm guessing all the money at the bottom they donate it eventually so I actually have a lot of change here you go children hey 
<laughs> I haven't seen you since last year. Honey, you're one of the most beautiful. Yeah, that's me. How are you? Do you remember my name? Disney. Oh, I thought he said Christine. Did he? He said Disney. Oh, uh, well, a quim. A what? A quam. A tram. A tram? What is this? He's like, I know cameras. They're Do in my you, face all the time. Can you see okay. yourself? Do you see yourself? Said goodbye to Magic Kingdom. Walked around and took a lot of pictures. But now here at Hollywood Studios, or as I call it, MGM. And looking at the Christmas decor. Look at Lake Echo and Gertie. So I hung out with Ashley and Will for a little bit. But now it's time to have lunch. Time for Toy Story Land, Toy Story Land, Toy Story Land. What? I haven't been here yet. Oh dear lord, I am sweating bowl. Oh, here's my hair tie. Oh, how we... Oh, this ain't cute at all. I'm actually leaving earlier than I thought I would be leaving because it's just too hot. My thighs are chafing, my boobs and my butt is sweating. I didn't do much photographing, pho photographing, <laughs> photographing. I just wasn't really inspired and I think I'm also a little bit tired too. It's been quite an eventful past three days. So I'm just gonna go home, relax, air out my thighs and my crevices and yeah. Got my coffee, be ready to bounce. So this vlog is actually longer than I anticipated so I am going to end the vlog here. It's Saturday and I need to get ready for work and I think that I'll be bringing back weekly vlogs actually. I I'm gonna change up the vlogs just a little bit, more so like the content of the vlogs. I feel like lately it's been very mundane and I know that I tone myself down in these vlogs for the most part. I mean, I still keep it real and I am who I am on camera, but there is a lot of me that I don't show on camera. I've been watching other YouTubers and their vlogs and yeah, you only see the highlight reel, but you see a lot of sides of them and I feel like I need to do that as well. Like I need to be a little bit more open with who I am because I am very weird. <laughs> and there are many times where I do weird things and I'm like, wow, I should have vlogged that, but I don't. So I wanna vlog more in a way that it captures my being like who I actually am. I want to get these vlogs interesting because I know they've been quite boring over the past few vlogs so and I think it's because I was busy. So yeah look forward to the next vlog because I am gonna try to put myself out there a little bit more. Should be interesting. Should be weird and awkward. I hope everyone is doing well and that you had a great New Year's and I want to know what's your resolutions, if you have any, or more so goals I should say. My goals include finding my own place, moving out, and possibly, eh, most likely finding a new job slash position. I still want to be a nurse but I need, a, I need a change. Also putting myself out there in the dating scene and saying yes to more opportunities when it comes to guys and finding love. I needed a break in 2018, that was not my year, but I'm ready. I'm ready to be back in the dating scene, but we'll see. Let's see what this year brings. I'll see you guys in next week's vlog. Thanks for watching, bye.